Hey, what up everybody? It's your favorite Asian robot right here and one day I'm going to be your favorite synced creator. Now, I'm doing a test of this explosive build that I had planned for synced. I don't know how well it's going to go, but I'm going to try it out. Uh, I'm trying it out in movie night right now, just for fun. I want to see if I could max out some explosions with the Grenadier. Oh lord, it's this one. Let the hunt begin. Ah, oh, well, okay, this is fair. This is fairly easy to do. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna head straight for those beacons and explode stuff, you know, the way we always do. Because this Tyrant Run version of the uh, game is fairly easy. There we are. More prey. I hope you're ready, Ivan. Did someone call a doctor? How lovely indeed. Alright. Let's continue moving. I have a crusher for some weird reason. Keep moving this general direction I haven't upgraded anything yet uh, but this is a tier 5 grenadier and you know what I'm just kind of interested in seeing how it performs you know if it does good I will happily share this build with everybody I'm actually filming the test first just because I wanted to see it in action uh, before anything else My points are going crazy right now. Natural selection okay, I've just scored like 79,000 points. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I think it suits me. I mean, it seems pretty good. Can't really complain all that much. Cover me a second, all right? I'm healing. Do not let me die. Okay. Don't worry, pal. I won't let you die. Seems I've picked up a deadly tortoise as well, so that's all right. Okay. Um. Next beacon is. Where's the next <clears throat> bacon of hope? <clears throat> Another conquest. Oh, armor. I actually found armor. That's pretty sick. Let's go. Uh. I hope Homie isn't trying to, uh, Selection at work. That would be a terribly sad thing. Be quick. If homie was trying to steal my glory, you know? Aha! That's what we need to score even more points. Get in there, upgrade my grenadier. I never expected this thing to work as well as it has, but hey, it's doing good. Magisterial. Hey, don't need the rest. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we're almost there. Reloading. <laughs> 
I must reload. I didn't seem too bad. Didn't need to heal either. Okay. In that case, looks like I'm good to go. That's the place. Ivan. He's still falling, which is all right. this no one can best me any treasure among the trash let's go I can see why this build is popular. Hmm. I don't know if my take on it is correct, but I just stuff everything with explosives in. And I'm just kidding. Okay. Seems logical enough to me. finish this this movie night run actually took about nine minutes just so you know movie night runs aren't that short I mean I thought they were short but they're not actually that one what we call a serious success is it not over yet i'm pretty sure it is 
Yeah. Okay. But anyway, this Grenadier build, holy hell. It worked. Uh, it worked swimmingly well. Huh. So I'm going to have to go back and show y'all what's up. All right, all right, all right. I'm really lazy to edit, so you know what? Because uh, I had a lot of groceries to do. That's why I didn't stream this morning. So I'm just going to go back and actually just like show you how this is built. Uh, step by step. It might be easier. Oh, hey, what do I have mail? Oh, sweet. Free stuff. Anyway, um, let me show you how this thing is built really quickly. Basically, for this Grenadia build, right? I was experimenting with some ideas that I had, and I realized that the grenade itself, uh, once you make it tier 5, it has 175% explosion damage. Even halfway, there's another 18% here. And with a red parting gift, you get 75% explosion damage. Uh, if you have only gold, it's 50%, still a lot. And the reload blast can add another 30%. You see? If you got the red version, that's another 40%. So this was really good. Then up here, I considered adding knockback explosion, but I don't really knock back. So it's really up to you what you want to do here. Um, you can absolutely add knockback explosion just strictly for the explosive damage. Even if you don't knock back anything, you might be able to pick up a knockback mod if you want to go that direction. I was trying out reload to unload for the critical damage because this one acts as a multiplier instead um, because it will multiply the base damage, whereas this would increase the base damage. But... You know, because it only lasts for a certain number of seconds after reloading, you have to decide whether or not you really want that. Uh, just getting 50% extra baseline might be pretty good, and then you can still multiply by the crits that you do have whenever you do crit, um, rather than hoping for reload to increase your damage. So that's another option that you can do. So knockback explosion, like parting gift and reload blast 100% are must-haves in this build, but knockback explosion, because it increases your base explosive damage, you could go with something like that. Um, this is entirely an option that you could choose. The other thing is that for this one, uh, there's no explosive modifier here, okay? There is one thing where you can use skill thrill to deal additional damage after using your skill if you'd like, but it only lasts for 30 seconds. The other option that I'd considered was um, the slow ricochet just for the slowdown. Uh, as a bit of crowd control, but I felt that that wasn't really the, ch the, the the play with this particular build, especially if we're working with Movie Knight. So if you want a defensive option, please go for armor transfer. If you want an offensive option, kinetic armor is actually really good um, because you don't really use anything else, just so you know. You can use skill thrill, you can use other stuff if you really, really want to, but my honest recommendation is for kinetic armor. Why? Kinetic armor allows you to break... Uh, sorry. Let me restate. Nearby nanos may have their armor broken when you deal damage to other nanos. Any kind of damage, you see? And it also increases your max armor by 100%. The exact same as armor transfer. There's no difference in value. So this one I felt was really good because if I can strip the armor off enemies with a single explosion and then your second explosion kills them, they will spread more parting gifts. There's more from reload blast, more from knockback explosion. You know, even though I was using reload to unload, I think you can dish out a lot of damage with this kind of setup. So yeah, this is what I would recommend if you really want to go for a hardcore explosive build. As for your um, as for your companion, uh, I would recommend choosing whatever you need. You can run this with any companion because the suppressor, uh, although it does explosive damage, will not exactly benefit from your your mods here. Actually, I'm not sure whether it does or not. Uh, if somebody could look at the numbers and test it in depth, because I don't know much about code, this may potentially, because it doesn't say runner explosive damage, you see, there, there's a difference. When it, when it is runner explosive damage, it says something different. So yeah, it'll say runner explosive damage right here. So these might actually benefit your suppressor. So if you really want to go maxed out offense, you can absolutely go with the suppressor. If you feel you need some tanking, you can go with the crusher. Uh, Seer for the Shrapnel mods and the Resurrection, you know, the Necromancer build. Uh, the only one I wouldn't choose is most probably Guardian because you don't really need the shield with this kind of build. You're going in there and blasting everything anyway. But yeah, think about this and yeah, that, that would be about it. So if you guys are interested in trying this out, let me know what you think of it because um, I feel that this is a really cool build. All right. Um, but do 
let me know what you guys think of it okay because if any of you are willing to test this out you got a maxed out grenadier like me i think it can be a lot of fun all right i'm probably going to be using this in movie night quite often so yeah let me know what you think thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you enjoy my content you want to support the channel a little more what you can do is you can grab a channel membership you can join uh sorry you can join as a channel member you can send super chats super thanks on youtube you can send tips via the link in the description of the video all of this would help me make more content for you guys if you guys want to support me all right um and that is all that it really takes if you want to support me for free the best way is to simply like my streams like my videos share them on the internet the more that you share my content doesn't matter where you share it share it anywhere and it would help me out tremendously in fact if you guys support my channel here are the top people you get a shout out all right top for september now we are in october this list is going to reset soon september's big wig supporter top tipper is big chungus top tipper list bravo 7910 tarko top super chatter alien frost 80 and mr t top super chatter list hold king anubis nightshade revarcher 124 and the top channel membership gifter is nightshade thank you so much to our channel members as well these guys are the best of the best they keep us running month after month our starting right at the top we've got big chungus at the only fan level we've got death dawning 982 at plus ultra one of our top fans jerry fast rogue assassin zach fg at prestige thank you guys so much you guys are amazing thank you to all of our honor robots as well Corey ryu kashiwa bob john cube devin lashin muki mocha rena chase taylor nathan strong nightshade lady neo joey danze syed asad Coda cmf kami smh conrad c and benjamin savage you guys are amazing i'll see you guys on the next video let me know what you think of this build okay let me know. I want to know what you guys think. Thank you.